Aloha, I'm Senator Miley Shimabukuro. I represent the leeward coast of the island of Oahu from Kalailoa to Kaena Point. I've been the senator for this area since 2011, and prior to that I served in the House of Representatives for eight years. I'm an attorney by trade, and I work in the public interest in the areas of family, public benefits, housing, and consumer law. Today I'd like to discuss several issues um, that I have ideas for legislation for next session. Um, and those areas would be housing, children, women's issues, the environment, education, and Hawaiian rights. Starting with the homeless crisis, I really like Mayor Caldwell's ideas um, for addressing the homeless crisis. Um, I like how he wants to lower the income criteria for what's considered affordable housing, um, his ideas for micro units, and also for homeless campgrounds, um, and for Ohana zoning um, that includes um, private individuals. I'd like to push for those levels, those um, issues on the state level as well and statewide. Um, I'd like to add trailer parks to the ideas um, that can potentially help solve our homeless crisis. I've been a strong advocate for children throughout my career and next session I'd like to look at the issue of minor guardianships and reintroduce a bill that would streamline the process to obtain these guardianships for children and, and disabled adults and really the issue is reducing the um, notice requirements to mirror those of adoptions. So to eliminate the, the requirements to notify adult siblings and also the requirement to notify fathers who have abandoned the child. Um, I'm very proud to have been awarded the Outstanding Woman Lawyer of the Year last year by Hawaii Women Lawyers. And I, I'm very passionate about women's issues and women's rights. And some ideas I have for future legislation include in vitro fertilization, um, and making it accessible to unmarried women and also to liberalize the requirements to obtain um, IVF treatments and to eliminate the requirement to, requ to file a paternity lawsuit to get a birth certificate if you've gone through IVF. And the other issue for women is the issue of the employee retirement system. Um, many impoverished women that are, and men trying to get divorces from their spouses cannot get the ERS divided in divorce and I think that should be changed. On the issue of the environment, um, I'm very proud that the Sierra Club has endorsed my candidacy throughout my career and um, there's several issues I'm looking at um, for the future. And two of them I'm working with Senator English on and one is indigenous architecture and natural building which we mandated the county to implement several years ago. I want to continue to push the county on that and to try to find model building codes to assist the county to get that off the ground. Also individual wastewater treatment systems such as compost toilets legislation to, to grandfather those in when they predate county sewer lines. And finally, I love what the city has done with the no butts on the beach legislation to ban cigarettes from city beaches. I want to implement that on state beaches as well and state parks. For education, um, I want to continue to push for OHA's bill um, that looks at assessment tests for immersion students and requiring that those tests be created in the Hawaiian language. Um, also the issue of um, Let's see, cooler schools and cool schools initiatives. We need to make that a statewide initiative. And finally, on charter schools, to make them eligible for capital improvement pro projects. My son attends a charter school, and there are many on the wait list, and they need funds to build more classrooms. Um, all charter schools should be able to get those CIP funds. Um, I'm proud to say I'm the chair of the Hawaiian Affairs Committee in the Senate, and there are several issues that I'd like to push for Hawaiian rights. Um, one is um, the issue of Kaka'ako Makai. Um, these were lands that were awarded to OHA as part of their settlement negotiation. Last session they tried to get legislation through that would allow residential development on these parcels which I supported and I'll continue to support. Or in the alternative, look for alternative lands that can be given to OHA so they can, they can meet their mandate to serve the Hawaiians. Um, other issues facing the Hawaiians are the issue of remnant lands. There are remnant state lands that currently DLNR can directly dispose of and OHA and other Hawaiian advocates are saying, seeking to say that these should be subject to the same scrutiny as other kinds of lands when they're culturally significant and subject to con con um, constitutional pr protections as well. Um, OHA um, also has the issue, of course, of nation building. And um, I support Kana'iolo Valu and also support those who are nationalists and support independence. I think we should support, look at both of those things and allow for self-determination of Hawaiians and protect their benefits. With that, mahalo nui loa for the privilege of serving you. Go to 21miley.com 
for more information. Thank you.